Learn how to make money as a kid in Zambia with these 17 methods on how to make money as kid between 10 and 18 in Zambia. To start making money you don't have to wait until your 18th anniversary. There are hundreds of ways to raise cash for young adults and even children under the age of 11. Currency as a child means power. Purchase the cards, snacks, clothes and movies you'd like to see. And additional gas money is change of life once you have provided a vehicle. By convincing them it's a rising opportunity to train you for the real world, you might get your parents on board. Surely that is real. But the main reason for children looking for opportunities to make money is to have more control over their life. What to know about making money as a kid in Zambia The US Department of Labor reports that the minimum working age is 14, for non-agricultural jobs. For young people under the age of 16 and dangerous working conditions for those under the age of 18 there are other hours limits. Those, however, include full-time and part-time jobs in businesses. Yeah. When you're just 11 or 12 years old, you can't work as a mop floor or a cashier. Yet you need not to quit making money. At home and in the city, there are many opportunities to raise extra cash at age level. Only ensure that you have permission and supervision for these jobs from your parents or guardians. Here are the 15 legit options for making money as a kid in Zambia then how are you as a child gaining money? These are the top 15 options I would suggest. Back in the day, I myself did some of these jobs. 1. Lawn mowing in Zambia. Grass cutting is a perfect way for children to make money. Start to exercise your skills in your own house. Perhaps you might even think about paying your parents. Ask the neighbors, next. The mowing of a lawn will cost you between $10 and $40 per yard, depending on your area and the size of the yard. No more than an hour or two will any lawn carry you. Many individuals have to mow their lawn once a week. Let's assume that per lawn, you average $25. It's $250 in your pocket if you can do 10 yards a week. 2. Yard work in Zambia. Don't stop mowing the lawn. Do not leave. By helping them out with other jobs, you will help them upsell their lawn mowing customers. The crop may be sprayed, weeds may be picked or grass is fertilized, or mulch applied. Here's an infinite list of choices. Much of it depends on the neighbor's skills and needs. You can remove snow off the driving ways and sidewalks to make extra money if you live in an area where it gets cold in the winter. Give some of your best yard work to begin flyers around your neighborhood. 3. Lemonade Stand in Zambia. The modern kid startup business is a lemonade stand. To make lemonade costs very little money. A tiny lemonade mix bottle is available for up to $3. The cups of lemonade will be about 32. If you sell just $1 per cup of lemonade, it's an amazing profit margin. Therefore, most people are going to give you a positive tip. You could be fortunate and have people pay you $5 or even $10 per cup. The position is the secret to a big lemonade stand. Most children do this for fun in their front yard or on their street corner. However, if possible, go somewhere with heavy foot traffic and a strong demand for drinks. Set up a lemonade stand in their games if you have children playing sports. Neither stop at the lemonade. The menu is filled with iced tea, soda, and wine. Double check if you need a lemonade stand permit in your country. It's required in most states. 4. Babysitting in Zambia. Usually babysitting is a work for young people. The best way to begin is to get somebody you know for babysitting. Perhaps a friend or a neighbor wants someone to look after his child after school for a few hours. You can gain more money if you have children's families with many children when you are comfortable with this. Evenings at weekends when parents go to dinner are typically more paying work. Through watching two and three kids for a few hours, you might probably gain $60 or $100. Nonetheless, this job is not for everybody. Their roles are great. 5. Pet sitting and walking in Zambia. Including childcare, pet environment is another good way for children to earn extra cash. There is a fair chance their dogs need to get out of the house if you have friends who work all day long. Before or after school, you can plan to walk some neighborhood dogs. Only 5 to 10 minutes per animal would be required. Get them out, let them go to the toilet and get enough food and water for their bowls. It's that easy. If you love animals, for every dog you walk you can receive at least $50 a week.
6. Washing cars in Zambia. Washing cars requires a little more manual labor. There are also cleaning products that you need to invest in. But, if you like working outdoors and you don't care to get dirty, washing cars are a huge side rush for girls. It can be done in a few ways. The first is to organize an event for money laundering. Many mates are there to support you and keep signage around the district. The occurrence could be an afternoon on Saturday or Sunday, when your buddies and you seek to wash as many cars at that time as possible. Instead, by creating a stable customer base, you can wash cars yourself. Again, the best place to start is your neighbors. You will wash your cars once or twice a week if you do, if you are right. You should start detailing cars until you're ready to move this side chaos to the next level. It takes a great deal of time and needs a great deal of hard research. But for a complete description you can charge $100 or even $150. 7. Start tutoring or share your knowledge for money. What's the best of your school subject? You will take those skills to teach other students when you get straight A's in math, science or history. For the education of their children, parents are willing to pay good money. For an hour session, you can easily receive $20. Most times, with homework assignments, exam planning and other stuff, you'll help. You will be fairly easy to work on if you have strong at certain subjects, and you have already taken these courses. 8. Teach adults about electronics in Zambia. The only students who need tutoring are not. Many adults find electronics difficult. Some adults can not distinguish basic functionality for modern technology whether it is a new iPhone, tablet or device. Using a smartphone or device is second nature to you if you're like the majority of children. It's easy for you to describe how you can take photos, make calls, send messages and so on. Increasing particular circumstance would depend on the pay for that. Some grown-ups can only need a 30-minute one-time fast lesson. Others may want to help learn how various types of software, such as Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, Google Drive etc., can be used per semana on their computers. 9. Start a YouTube channel as a kid. To assist you with this, you will need a parent or guardian. Legally, to be payable through a YouTube account, you must be 18 years or older. Yet YouTuber 2019's highest paid is 8 years. For his YouTube channel, Ryan's Universe, Ryan Kaji made $26 million last year. You will still get hundreds or thousands of US dollars on YouTube, even though you do not get millions of dollars, at least not immediately. 10. Start a garage sale. Many homes are filled with unwanted junk. Nonetheless, your parents still don't want to get rid of it. It is a perfect time to make some money for you. You will negotiate with your parents for a share of the income you get by planning a yard sale. As you probably haven't bought all of this stuff, all this is profitable for you. Let's assume, for example, that 25% of all sales are preserved. However, it is your responsibility to put flyers around the district and set up the wholesale of the yard. It can take at least a few hours and may require heavy lifting. And get able to get sticky. So, when the yard sale starts, you can help. If you sell a $1,000 profit, you'll get $250 in your pocket. 11. House painting jobs in Zambia. Painting work for teens is normally completed. To complete any work, you will probably have to go on the ladder. This is potentially your best choice with a friend or sibling. Start with painting jobs in the interior. Family, friends, or neighbors in their house may need a painted bedroom. Both the paint and the supplies must be purchased. The actual painting is everything you have to do. You don't want to get stained, wear old clothing. Take the time and ensure that the work is carried out properly. Up to $1,000 per room may be charged by professional painters. Therefore, it's a bargain to pay you half. For two days of work, you and a friend will comfortably receive $200 each. 12. Sell t-shirts in Zambia. Selling t-shirts is a great place to start, if you have some money that you want to invest in a business. A t-shirt business teaches you the concepts of inventory management, pricing, product and demand. A lot of businessmen begin with t-shirts. There are several websites that allow you to customize a design of a t-shirt and purchase it in large quantities. Let's tell you to buy 50 shirts each for 
you'll get a profit of $500 if you sell them for $20 per shirt. There is a risk here that before you can make it you've got to spend money. Yet this is an excellent opportunity to learn the fundamentals of industry. 15. Fix and clean bikes in Zambia. You can make money by repairing them if you know your way around a bicycle. It seems that every garage in America has a broken wheel. Any of those ideas are simple for anyone who knows what they do. Customary work items such as the changing of gears, the installation of a new chain, tires repair or new brake pads. For a 30-minute task, you could get at least $20, by supplying the pieces, you gain more money. Let's say, for instance, that a bike needs two new tubes. You can get tubes for about $5 each in your local Walmart. You will charge $30 plus for the job for an investment of $10. 16. Become a personal assistant in Zambia. This is potentially another great place for young people. You can be your personal assistant if you have a mom, aunt, uncle, or cousin who needs support. The job description varies according to who you're assisting. It can be everything from phone calls to coffee and letters opening. For every day you work, you possibly will earn a fixed rate. One of the best reasons to be a personal assistant is that you get your foot in the door of certain businesses. You may have an advantage over other people who apply for the same job because you are a legal worker. The recruit boss knows who you are already. 17. Do chores for seniors in Zambia. Senior citizens should use a hand to do the house's simple tasks. If you know there are older people living in your neighborhood, offer your support for a fee. It could be as easy as taking food from their car into the building. There are also some adults who pay you to live with their elderly relatives. You could theoretically be charged for an hour a day when you come home from school to play games with a senior. This is all I had for you today, if you learned something, give this video a like and subscribe.